How to use Teamwork, a free project management software. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be doing a quick look at how you can get started with Teamwork. So Teamwork is a free to use project management software. It allows you to customize your workflows and build a efficient pipeline for you to complete all of your projects and all of your tasks. Now, Teamwork is pretty different from a lot of the previously existing platforms. You can easily import your uh, data from any other previous project managers and import it directly onto the Teamwork system. It can be a seamless integration into your business activities as well as project management. Now, the best part about this is that if you take a look at their pricing, you can get started with a free trial of even their premium versions, and they have a free version that will cost you nothing, where you can add five members, so five people can use the free version as a collaborative team, and you have some key integrations available as well. Their starter version starts at almost $6, with three minimum users, as well as project power dashboards and setup user rates. Then you have the deliver plan, which allows you to create automations and forms as well as project status reports and team management then you have the grow plan which is the most popular plan on teamwork this includes things such as workload and capacity management advanced budgeting and powerful reports now the one of the uh differentiating features of all of these plans is going to be the minimum number of users or you know the total number of users you can add depending on how large or small your team is you're going to vary at what kind of team or what kind of plan you need so you can add people as guest workers on your workspace, but that can be a hassle, especially if you have day-to-day -day employees that need to do all of their work directly on your project management software. So let's get started in setting up teamwork. First off, you're going to click on try it for free on the top right over here, and you can sign up with your work email address and password and full name. I'm just going to continue with Google just so we can save some time over here. And then after that, you have to enter some basic information. So first off, you want to enter what kind of agency you have. Uh, let's say we have a creative agency, which has one to five people. And let's say I am the founder and we're going to name our company Dirt and in Ink. And now I'm just going to continue on over here. Now, once we proceed on to the Teamwork app, we will be able to see how our data is going to be or how our project is going to be managed. So first off, to personalize our experience, we are going to focus on what we want to do. We want to manage projects. Uh, we will to want to track billable time, managing maybe team capacity. So we want to do that. And now we can start creating our first project. So let's say our first project is to... Um, develop a spring uh, or develop a ad campaign. So I'm just going to name this project ad campaign, click on continue. Then you can add some sample tasks just to set it up. So first off, let's say brainstorming ideas, finding locations for shoots, and then just continue on over here. Then after that, you want to select the default view that you want. If you want it to be in the form of a list, in the form of a board, or in the form of a table. Now, it's pretty different. Uh, I like to use the board format. It looks pretty easy to uh, visually decipher every all of the information that you have. But if you want a listicle view that can, you know, compact or give you a more concise summary of everything, you can choose a list view. I'm going to proceed with a board view over here. Now, after that, you have multiple different columns that you can add. You can change this later as well. But the first section I like to do is maybe ideas for the ad campaign then the second section might be approved ideas and then the third section might be declined ideas we can add more sections later on as well and from here we can invite our team members we're going to skip this for now so over here you can input whether or not this is a project for a client if it is then you want to continue on with yes if it is not you can put in no for us we're just going to go with no and continue and you can add multiple different clients that you're working for over here as well which is often something that you uh, can't find in a lot of other project management softwares softwares you don't have like a dedicated section for that now, you guys will be able to see this is the teamwork dashboard. On the left side, you have a navigation panel. In this navigation panel, you have your home section. 
Then you have your search section where you can search your entire workspace for a specific item, file, or task. You also have your welcome section which allows you to go over the basic, uh, basic setup of teamwork. Then you have the jump to section where you can jump to a specific project or jump to a specific table or, you know, any uh, task that you want. Then you have your templates. Now you can click on add project templates and you can create your own template from scratch as well. Or you can even use pre-existing templates that Teamwork provides you with. You also have some planning sections. This allows you to actually plan your workload in the form of a calendar. It's kind of like a timeline view. You can see the timeline of all of your tasks, all of the upcoming deadlines, tasks, and uh, anything that is scheduled within the Teamwork application will be shown on the workload planner. You can see who is working how many hours, who is putting in you know, too many hours, how you want to divide your work. It can be a great visual decoder of all of that information. Then you also have your budgeting. Now budgeting will allow you to set budgets and rates for individual clients as well as your workers. So you can click on add rates over here. Let's say the rate for this particular uh, user, uh, let's say the billable rate per hour for all of my team members or all of the people that I'm adding in this section is going to be $16 an hour. And the cost rate, you know, the cost rate is how much it is going to cost your company to employ this user. And this is only going to be information that you're going to see as the owner. And this is going to be the charge that you, the billable hour rate is going to be charged to your clients. So the people that are supposed to pay you. Now, what I'm paying my employees might be um, $14 an hour, or maybe let's say I am paying them $12 an hour and then for myself let's say I have um, my billable hour rate might be $30 and the cost to employ me might be $30 as well because you know the owner is probably not going to take any cuts now we're going to click on say changes over here and just like that, we have set up our basic budgets. This will allow you to see the overall financial health of your business or of your team. Next up, you have your report section. The report section allows you to create multiple different reports. You can also create reports on based on project health, planned versus actual statuses across your projects and tasks, utilization, as well as time. Time projects, time projects can be a really helpful way to denote how much time is being put in a specific project. And if it's not a uh, hourly build project, if it's not built by time, if it's built by a um, completion fee, then it might not be worth it to complete certain projects. So these kinds of reports can be a great indicator of that as well. Now, going on to the next section, you have the people section, calendar, everything, forms and proofs. So the form section allow you to create forms that you can add to your project to further uh, get more input or get more information about your projects. Now let's go ahead and you guys can see you have your add test section on the top. Then you have your timer, log time, project. So you can click on project over here and start building a new one. I'm going to click on my projects and I will open up my ad campaign one. Now, you guys can see this is my basic board view. Let's say I want to add more columns. So ideas, approved ideas, this might be approved idea. Then I can add another column, which might be um, executed ideas or in progress. I can give it a different unique color like this. Click on save. I'm going to put this ahead of declined. And then let's say this is, you know, whatever specific ideas you want, you can input that. You can also build a sales pipeline or a marketing pipeline in the same fashion. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with teamwork. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.